this mission to become number one with a bullet. It's BDS! <laughs> This stage is W7M! Nobody from the defense overperforms. We're really trending towards a BDS victory. All the Kiva barriers have been thrown by Dodez, so the only thing that will still generate over time is those Goombas. What just happened? Solitov taking no prisoners, and now it's Dash to get aggressive. Inside a break, hunted down by the death. Four kills for Solitov. Complete the kill. A single point of HP for Shoko. Solitov now to the rescue, and it's all up to the Clash. Dots in a 1v2. He will down Shaika with the electrification. Taking him out. Oh, whoa, it's the barbed wire that gets the kill. A hopeless and thankless proposition. No diffuser in hand. Not much right now for W7M. They started to put in a valiant effort for a comeback, but maybe a little bit too late. or not. Dots has been down. Three players still upright for BDS. But what a brazen play by Loban, leaving just Donna's alive as he's punished. 1v2 on the Bandit. Full HP. Dots irretrievable at this point. Solotov's been down. It's Shaiko and he Dodas knows. in a 1v1. Shaiko finishing him off. Yeah. Dodas will swing around the bomb chassis. Maybe he thought the down was them. Here's the bigger deal. Got to shake Solotov off of this spot above. It looks like it's Loban tasked with dealing with him. All the while, Dash getting on Diffuser, firing through the floors, missing his opportunity. Dash falls off, and Solotov has no info. He's got to go for it at the last second, but pros don't think. A slight misplay by Solotov and W7M have tied the map. Typically is gone. And now Shiko's taken off the board. This is the best we've seen them so far. And there's another opportunity here for Loban, who lets them wander in. Great trigger discipline. Waiting for the next player, though. So scary. What a shock that is for Ethan! Loban with three kills. An incredible round is uses as the last stage has something to say about this. Full HP on the three remaining players from W7M. 30 seconds left. Cluster charges go out. EFAC now tussling on that catwalk, and he's finished off by Volts. W7M sent BDS down. A struggle for the Frenchman. But the Bulls take that two, and we're tied one map apiece. We are not at EWC anymore. They struggled to get seven rounds against BDS, falling short at just six. And now here, not only do they... Also playing top red. I think if we see them really struggle, he'll know he'll use the last one on the Wamai. So they're fully focusing on Garage as we reach 40 seconds left. This is a great hold for W7M. BDS running into their demise. Dash and Dots tearing through them. Shaiko, last one standing, and it's Dash and Dots to get all five kills. Tackling Garage was too much. Pulled out the rest of this round. Deathmark has expired. Dota's and Dash. It's been Dots and Dash who made some serious noise side by side. Dash is still upright. There goes the timer. Nitro Cell tossed out. But it doesn't seem to have been pulled just yet. BDS being widowed down on HP. Dash walking up and he flattens both players. Grenade will go in. It'll give Breedy a little bit more of a line of sight towards that open chasm. And he swings onto Dodez. Vintage Breedy showing up in the server. Loban will now need to go through the vault as he hits a goo mine. Running out of time. Flash goes in. This site control might be important utility destroyed, but W7M still have this lead. BDS have just gotten rid of a lot of that hard destruction by shuffling around the Electric Claw on Kitchen Hatch. To the point now where 
There's very limited opportunities to open this back up, and it's electrified yet again. I mean, he's still got the X Kairos in pocket. And now, whatever remains of that blowtorch for the Maverick, but you're not going to start blowtorching the kitchen floor, right? That's lunacy. Right now, two players from W7M in through Dirt Tunnel. Volps the first one in, and he's spotted, flashing away. Uses with one kill. The Blitz doing all the work. It's all up to Solitov to hold this team at bay. But there's too much to handle. The comeback at some point had to end, and W7M will take the first round of overtime. Avatau, as fire will meet fire. Volps can easily derail this push, playing behind that bomb chassis. Diffuser going down. Dots getting swung on. Uses has dropped. It's all up to of his position underneath that default or underneath the bulletproof cam in goes Bride. now volps wondering what could be had a nice shot on the shiko Bride also dropped how did things go so badly for bds volps giving up any ground whatsoever both tussling inside of the bomb site a pixel angle was held but lobin is exposed to leaky fact as long as he has information the Frenchman will creep up. Loben off of the plant. Leaky back sees it, but Loben wins it through the wall! Quieting the crowd. W7M's lead will grow there. The freezer drop comes in. Dots absorbing an awful lot of damage. He'll set things up and he'll have to pull out a goo mine before the job of getting the case down can be done. Loban defending against it. The first domino for BDS. EFAT dies. Bride goes as well. BDS have lost Shiko and use this. BDS are finding out the hard way right now that when you mess with the bombs, you get the horns. Same organization, different roster, same results. W7M, major champions. Even for those from Brazil, revenge is at this best serve. They drop through Freezer, they're here in Montreal, and they get the job done. This org, the history that's behind them, and now with a brand new set of players, they accomplish one of the same feats that their old team did. An impressive run capped off in the most perfect way possible over their old rivals of BDS. But for BDS, an old rival, but now a foe dispatched two major finals in a row. They have let a team no one expected take a major away from them. If they won this, they'd be the favorites going into Boston. They'd be the team to beat. Now, they've not earned that title. That... Ladies and gentlemen, your Blast R6 Montreal Major Champions is W7A! Yeah!